I'm Katie. And I'm Sam. And we're at Halfling Ever After. Today we're going to talk about using cloth in place of paper products. There are several reasons why you might want to use cloth in place of paper products to lessen your environmental impact, to tighten your budget, for comfort, to minimize the chemicals coming in and near your body, for both pads and toilet paper, the first time I heard about it, I was like, you got to be kidding. There's no way I'm doing that. And then as the idea got a little less new, I thought, oh, there's some reasons to do that. Uh, and as it kept percolating, uh, after a while, it didn't seem quite so gross and I was willing to give it a try. And then I found out that I really liked it. There is an environmental impact to washing your cloth, of course. However, it is far less than the environmental impact of using paper, which not only includes the resources used to make the product, but also the byproduct waste, and then wherever that product sits, so either in your septic system or in a landfill. I think family cloth is very misunderstood. One of my friends said they need a new term for that because when I imagine what family cloth is, it's like one big cloth that the whole family uses and that grosses me out. That is not what family cloth is. I'm guessing it's called family cloth because cloth diapers are often called baby cloth, cloth menstrual pads are often called mama cloth, and so cloth toilet paper would be family cloth because it's for the whole family. Family cloth is basically cloth toilet paper. And cloth toilet paper can be used for number one, it can be used for number two, or it can be used for both. In our household, we just use it for number one because that's what I can do. It's easy. You just throw it into the wet bag. There's no spraying. There's no smell at all. It's not gross. Using it for number two, I know a lot of people do do that and it doesn't gross them out any more than having to deal with cloth diapers does. Someday we may get there, possibly by necessity, if we don't have the ability to purchase toilet paper. But for now, we use regular toilet paper for number two and use our family cloth for number one, and it's great. Women use toilet paper every time. That's a lot of toilet paper. It makes a significant impact to use cloth wipes for pee in our household. We also use it for number three when we are peeing out our noses. <laughs> yes, they make great tissues which I hadn't heard of because I wasn't thinking honestly. I just used, started using them by accident and now I'll never go back to regular Kleenex. Cloth wipes work great for tissue. Um, it makes it so you don't get so raw under your nose when we would get sick I would end up buying the tissue that has lotion in it because we were all so miserable and it hurt to, to wipe. Now we use the cloth wipes for that and have a lot better luck with our noses. Never flush the, uh, the cloth. And you shouldn't be uh, flushing anything but paper, toilet paper. Those flushable wipes are not really flushable, so you should not be flushing them. Uh, using cloth toilet paper is a lot better for your septic system. As long as it stays out of the, right, of the system. Right, as long as you're not flushing it down the toilet. Because any, any of that uh, solid stuff that goes in stays in the tank and it builds up and the more it builds up the more you have to have it pumped or uh, bill it out with a bucket if you're brave and uh, unfortunate enough to have to do it that way. I never want to do that. And that's probably my job. <laughs> we always have regular toilet paper for guests. We do not share. I know some people also will share their cloth toilet paper with guests. It's going a little far for me. So no, we don't share with other people our toilet paper. They get the luxury of paper toilet paper. If you want to try using cloth toilet paper, it's really easy and probably free because you can cut up any cotton flannel that you like. 
that you're not using. So old t-shirts, sheets. I use receiving blankets because we have so many receiving blankets and they are great for toilet paper. They are by far my favorite. So, I mean like, if you have 30 receiving blankets, we use those, you know, for burping and drool and stuff, but we don't need 30 of them. And so, here's a receiving blanket. It's cotton flannel and it's very big, so it's going to make quite a bit of toilet paper. You can use a pair of sewing scissors or pinking shears or good old rolling blade and cut it up after many years of using it. I have discovered that bigger is better and more is better and softer is better. I want quantity and quality for my toilet paper. So I like them to be at least four inches wide and I like them to be 12 inches long so that I can just fold them in half. If they're not that long, I end up doubling them up. You can buy cloth toilet paper that looks very nice and has nice edges. Uh, I am not very nice. I don't have nice edges. And so mine looks not so nice. Uh, I don't care. What I'm interested in is having the toilet paper. And someday when I've got time to spend sewing and uh, sitting in one place for more than a few minutes, then I will make nice toilet paper. But here's a piece of ours. You can see the lighting is not so great. You can see it was a very cute receiving blanket. I think that's the bottom of a giraffe. And it's got raggedy ed edges. It's just how it is. It is a lot nicer to not have raggedy edges. Also, one piece doesn't really do it for me. A piece is fine for my daughter. She just needs one of these. I like a little more absorbency, and so that's why I say I like it to be 12 inches long. These are not 12 inches long, so I end up grabbing two and using them that way, and sometimes I'll even double it that way, so there's plenty of absorption. We keep it in an old baby wipes container, which works great. People have baskets and all sorts of things. I like them to be in something that has a top because there is a lot of dust in our house. I, I don't want anything extra going down there. So we just make a big pile. Some people will fold them so that they'll actually pop up like a wipe. I do not have time for that, um, so I have to open the top, pull out a wipe, close it back up. I know. It's really easy and convenient. Actually, I probably could just, I could pull at it. I'm not going to. Using the cloth toilet paper, we have far less waste going into our septic system. We are not spending as much money on toilet paper. Our impact on the environment is lessened, particularly since we would be doing that wash anyways for the diapers. And it's quite comfortable to use the soft flannel, unless you are spending considerable money on very, very nice toilet paper that is thick and soft. The cloth toilet paper is going to feel better than regular toilet paper. Most proponents of using cloth toilet paper for everything say it's no different than using them for cloth diapers for small children. Uh, in our heads, we think, ew, adult poo is different than toddler or baby poo, and it's not. But for a diaper, we're spraying all that poop off of the diaper and then putting it into the wet bag. We don't let poop sit on it at all. I would only feel comfortable if we were spraying each piece of cloth toilet paper so there was no remnant of feces on the paper before I put it into the bag. And I don't see that happening right now. Some people install a bidet, sounds wonderful. I'm also not up for that. Anything that sprays water right now seems like just a temptation for our children. I started out with just a, a little bit of the cloth wipes and soon discovered that more was better so I just cut up more blankets. There doesn't seem to be too many wipes since they are so useful they can be used for your nose. 
They can be used to clean up small messes. They're versatile, they're soft, they're inexpensive. I understand that some of these options are not for everyone, but I think they're also a little misunderstood. We all make waste. Women bleed. These are not things that need to be hidden. We do not need to be embarrassed. And we do not need to introduce any toxins into that part of our body simply so we can have the convenience of throwing away what we're using. So even if today you're thinking, I'm sorry, that's gross, that's okay. Possibly in a week or so you'll think, I guess it's not that gross. And maybe in a couple months you'll think, I got this t-shirt, I'm gonna throw it away. Or I could cut it up and just see what I think of using it for toilet paper. And then next year this time you're making your own video saying how much you love cloth and you won't go back. Or you might not. You might say this is too much for me. Do what you can. Don't do what you can't. No need to feel guilty. No need to feel shamed. We are all doing our best. Except for that guy. Thanks for joining us.